Hello, this is Ryan Spring from Tohoku University. Okay, I'm introducing another piece of code that is on my website. This is the Excel to text file exporter. It's pretty simple. Uh, I think a lot of people can probably do it themselves. Uh, however, uh, if you're not very tech savvy, uh, let me teach you a pretty easy way to uh, do this. Okay, uh, first, uh, let me explain what this does. This code will uh, clean non-UTF characters, for example, Japanese Zengaku Moji, uh, and then export them uh, into a, a, a file. So if you have an Excel file and your students, for example, through Google Forms, have, have uh, submitted essay responses or speaking responses, for example, if you use my um, foreign language homework code, you can get a lot of student numbers with a lot of responses. Um, if you want to run these responses through some kind of uh, automated grading, uh, or if you need for other reasons to get the, the files into text files, uh, this code can help you. Okay, uh, Specifically, um, for automated grading, uh, you generally need a, a, a file of, of lots of text text files. I'm sorry, you need a folder of a lot of text files. Okay, so let's uh, s see how to do this using my code. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is um, inside of Excel, okay, look at the tabs at the top. You need to click on your developer tab. Okay, if you don't have this developer tab, I will show you how to do this at the I will show you how to get this tab at the end of the video. Okay, I will put a mark in the YouTube. Okay, uh, from here, what we're going to do is click this part that says Visual Basic. Okay, uh, then we have this one that says Sheet One. Okay, we're going to click, sorry, double click here to get a new piece of code. Okay, then go to my website here and you can see this code text file. We're going to click it. Okay. Uh, it, it does give you the instructions, okay, um, but this is the basic idea, okay. So we're going to copy all of this code, okay, not including the lines. Okay, you can right click and click copy or uh, you can click control C. I like to use control C, control V, it keeps everything uh, nice and clean, okay. Um, now, there are a couple of things that we need to change about this. Okay, uh, It asks you to change the yellow highlighted area, this uh, export folder. You want to change that to the folder where you want your, your text files to be written. Okay, So right now I have this one C colon documents text files. Okay, That can be anything you like. Okay, if you open up documents, okay, you can make a new folder and let's call it test folder. Okay, uh, you can open it. And if you don't know how to get the path, look at the top, right click, and you can click copy the address. Okay, and then you can paste that here. Paste. Okay, uh, now we need to find the name of the sheet. Please be very careful. This is called sheet one right now, and there's no space. Let's look at our sheet. Okay, let's make sure that we have the exact same name. If this is different, it, it, the code will not work. So I'm going to paste, control C, control V. Okay, it does not matter what these are, but this value must match this value exactly. Okay, uh, capital letters and everything. Okay. Then the way this code is written right now, okay, the code is going to look at the B column. Right now, this is where your essay responses should be. The first thing it does in the B column, it's going to replace all of these types of characters. I don't know if you can notice this, but right now, this is not, this is not a UTF. This is not an English apostrophe here. This is a Japanese apostrophe. A lot of students tend to do this. These are also Japanese quotation marks. The reason that can be problematic is if there is Japanese text, including these apostrophes and quotation marks, 
if there's Japanese text in your B column, um, your, they will not be saved as UTF-8, even though I set it here. The reason that's a problem is all, most autograder programs and things only allow UTF-8 text files. So um, in order to make sure that, that there is no uh, Japanese zenkakumoji or something like that within the text, uh, this, this, this part happens first. Okay. Then the next thing that happens is down here, okay, uh, the program reads what is in column A, and it's going to create a text file. The name of the text file will be column A dot text, and then what is written inside of the text file will be whatever is written inside of B. So we'll have A001 dot text, and then written inside of there will be this person's response to their essay. Okay, um, if you want to change that, okay, of, of course you can you can just change the names of the columns. And if you're if the student numbers are in C instead of B or instead of A, you can change that to whatever you need it to be, and you can do the same thing here. Okay, um, quick uh, word of warning: this is written for Windows machines. Um, the the code that does the heavy lifting, that does the actual work here, uh, is written for Windows machines. If you have a Macintosh, um, I don't have that code right now, I'm sorry. I don't have a Macintosh, so I don't, I don't code for Macintosh in general. Uh, so either get a PC or please ask me and I'll try to work on it. Uh, when you have this ready, okay, you can click on this play button. Okay. And then you can see two things happened. The first thing you'll notice, okay, these are no longer Japanese text. Okay, that's not Zenkakumoji anymore. That is a standard. It fixed these things. Okay, and then if we look into the folder, the test folder that I made, uh, it also creates this one because it still gets the first, the first uh, row. But we have a0001.txt. Okay, if I open it. I can see that it has written this person's response. A002 has this person's response, etc. And you can see that it's properly saved as UTF-8. Okay. Now, if you're going to use an autograder program, uh, you're probably going to want to delete that one file. But now you're ready to use this and feed this whole folder into your autograding program. Uh, if there's any questions um, or if you need help, please feel free to contact me. Once again, this is Ryan Spring from Tokyo University. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. As promised, I'm going to show you how to get the uh, developer tab if it's not already in your Excel. So if it's not here, you're going to click on File. And then you are going to click on Options. Uh, let's see. Inside of options, there is one that says uh, customize ribbon. Okay, I'm trying. To, here we go. I think this is the Japanese for it. Ribbon no use as it day. Customize ribbon. Okay, and then inside of here, you can see that there's various ones. I think developer is usually not checked when you first start. Just make sure this check this checkbox, and then click OK and then you will see the developer tab up here.